We're looking forward to our next race on uh, the Formula One calendar, which will be Monza. And Monza, as we all know, is uh, the fastest Formula One circuits, which makes us see speeds in excess of 260 kilometers per hour. And for most of the lap in Monza, 80% actually, the drivers are at full throttle. So peak performance is everything here. The cooling of the engine is less critical because at that speed, we always have a lot of air flowing through the heat exchanger, while fuel consumption can be a limiting factor to performance. Hence, any contribution to fuel efficiency, however small, is helping to improve overall race speed. For the fluids in a car, that means engine and gearbox oil have a crucial role to play to help with engine performance, but also to help with fuel efficiency. The lubricants are designed for minimum friction to allow high speed or to allow better fuel economy. And these conditions are easy to simulate in a laboratory. So by doing that, we are able to choose the best viscosity and the best anti-friction components for the engine in Dutch conditions. When it comes to fuel, we look at the highest power density of the fuel that we can get because that's a crucial factor on a circuit like Monza and to win a race. Priority here for the fuel is given to peak performance rather than to what we call drivability because most of the time, as I said, it's spent at full, full throttle and there are less transient modes where drivers decelerate and accelerate, like in more narrow circuits. In those circuits, you would look for a fuel that gives you more drivability and is better in terms of responsiveness. But in Monza, it's all about top speed, and that is the important aspect that we look into for the choice of fuel. But as every year, we look very much forward to, to Monza because it usually produces high-speed racing and lots of excitement.